Yeah, my experience in, in the Highlands uh, with nests is, like Matt said, with these large trees adjacent to really open meadows. The great gray owls hunt from a perch, typically about 20 feet up in the air, and they don't fly around and try to find prey. They sit and they do most of their prey discovery through their ears. They have this spatial disc that catches sound and their ears are asymmetrical on their head, which gives them like stereo hearing. That's why they're able to capture prey beneath the snow just with their ears. So I've seen places in the snow where the owls have come down, plunge with their feet, lift off, leave feather marks off the tip of their wings in the snow, and in the bottom of the hole you'll find a little mouse trail in there, and they heard the mouse and got it. So that's why they like the, the open ground and perches to perch on. Uh, most of the nests that I've monitored in the area where I live are in one specific nest platform that was put up by Kent Woodruff about nearly 20 years ago. Kent's the biologist in uh, Twist period, that how. And so I think uh, Matt has some pictures of those nest platforms. He did a really good job putting them up there. And so they're, they're in this type of habitat with the cover above so that uh, they, because they would be vulnerable to avian predators. So, and the leaner trees are very important. I've watched a lot of owls fledge and they go to the ground and go back every day and you can follow a trail in the grass with little pin feathers and until they find a way to clamber up. And it's really cool to see them do that because they not only use their talons, they use their beaks and their wings and whatever else they can grab on to just get themselves off of the ground. And then they make a begging sound. And maybe you've all heard, it's, with all the owls, it's kind of similar. It's kind of like a type of noise. It makes you want to feed somebody, doesn't it? <laughs> so, um, just textbook habitat, and uh, I wanted him to be able to, to talk a little bit about that, because um, he literally lives with Great Grey. So, uh, to that note, um, I was asked to, to put that in there, and decide that we're going to have a, a little, little intermission. And Julia will let you know.